What made you get into the whole Mega Man series? Was it Mega Man 2? Not really. As I told you before, it was Mega Man 4. I don't know what that game had, but I really liked it. It was really cool, and I didn't know you could use the Mega Buster until really late in the game. I thought it was really tough, but it's because I didn't know how to charge a weapon. <laughs> I didn't know you could charge a weapon, so yeah, it was pretty stupid. How much time have you generally spent on making all the material resources for you? Actually, I started with the Tankman videos during the holidays of last year so it's been it's gonna be almost a year soon but you know I work when I get home at night I work a little bit and when I have uh, vacations I try to work a little bit more but I have other other stuff to do I mean I have a life so I can't really tell you how long it how much time I've spent but anyway will you make other character playable uh, other characters playable like Bass Apartment no, probably not. It will only be Mega Man. I want to make sure everything, every basic thing works great, so I probably won't add some extra stuff for now. Will you be sending Mega Man 10 to Capcom to see if they like it enough to make an official game? I don't know. Probably not. I, I, I... I'll probably make a special website to host the game, so that everyone knows where to go to get it. But I'm not sure I will send it to Capcom. I mean, I pro probably they will find out on their own. But my goal is not really for it to be the official game. My goal is only to make my own game and feel, feel good about people having fun with it. <laughs> if Capcom was to find out about your Mega Man 10 and they said they wanted to buy it, would you say yes? Probably yes, but I'm not counting on it. And, and it depends what they offer me and I don't think I will accept if they plan on butchering it or changing it. Because I know that companies are very much able to screw up games and game design from my experience in the industry. Couldn't you think of another title for the game? Uh, yes, I'll think of another title. Somehow. Which was the first Mega Man game you ever played and are you a Proto Man fan or a Zero fan or both? I'm not really a fan of Proto Man or Zero. I think Zero is a lot co better than Proto Man because it has a lot more backstory to him. But my favorite character is Mega Man X. I think he's awesome. <laughs> no, it's not Zero, Zero, it's Mega Man X. Because I think he's badass. <laughs> he doesn't look badass, but I think he's badass. Which Mega Man series do you like the most? Mega Man X. And which which one is my least favorite? That's a good question, because I've al always tr wanted to, to say this. My least favorite would probably be Mega Man Star Force. And it's not because the games suck. The games are, are fun. I've played the first one, it, it's fun. But the thing is, I'm kind of sick of the Battle Network clones. What I mean by that is uh, we get it right. Okay, it's been, I don't know, 10 games. It's always the same thing. Uh, I mean, it, they're fun, but it just removes time from the team to make an actual side scroller, which is more like Mega Man. And why is there two Mega Man ZX game and, uh, and hundreds of Battle Networks and Star Force games? I mean, why don't you make a sad side scroller for God's sakes? I mean, I'm sick of those games, and I, they're actually the only games I didn't. I didn't buy it. I buy I bought the first Star Force, but I didn't buy the other ones because I want to make a statement <laughs> just because of what it represents it represents the Mega Man Battle Network series getting getting stale and doesn't know where to go and it also represents Capcom ripping off Pokemon <laughs> And I, I don't know. I'd like. Uh, and why is there an anime of Star Force and Battle Network, but there's no anime of the Mega Man X or ZX series? That would be kick ass. But why? Why is there only a Pokemon clone anime series? I mean, it's not that they suck, but I mean, there's so much potential with Mega Man X and ZX, but I mean, they don't do it. I don't know because uh, Pokemon is awesome, and we have to rip it off. I don't know. That was a bit of a mini rant here. How did you get the Mega Man engine? Will a normal game creator work? The Mega Man engine, Mega Man engine is made by an N64 Mario and uh, he was kind enough to allow me to work on my game using his engine even though it's not finished. And I'm really grateful to him. 
Uh, will a normal game creator work? Probably, it's just that you will have to do all the work of actually making the engine yourself. If with enough success, uh, success after finishing the first one and fan request was la were large enough, will you be making a sequel to 10? Ooh, probably not. I'll just be happy if 10 ever makes it out. I mean, honestly, when 10 is released, I will be happy. I probably won't make another one. I probably, probably will help people designing the robot monsters and stuff. Make pictures, try to work on other stuff, but I probably won't make, be a sequel to, to 10. And people, well, we are already sending me requests for Mega Man 11. Just stop, just stop it, don't expect 11. <laughs> I'm just really, be, really will be happy to if 10 actually makes it to your computers. I will die a happy man knowing that I had, that I made a great Mega Man game. I hope it will be great. That's my goal. What made you decide to change Mega Man 10 from Flash, Flash Project to an actual game? You guys, your uh, all your positive comments. It made me do it. Percentage-wise, how far along are you at this point in Mega Man 10 development? Uh, I don't. I can't really give you a percentage because I don't really know what how much work awaits me in the programming department. But Rainbow Man's level is built. It's just that there are no enemies done yet, and uh, yeah. Nail Man's level is built too. There's one enemy in it, and, and I'm actually designing the enemy right now. There's the enemies for the game right now. And the other level, Jetman, the first horizontal section is designed, but there are no enemies yet. What you saw was what is done. And uh, the other tile sets for all the other robot masters are done. It's, not, it's just the stages are not designed. I want the enemies to be designed before the stage is designed because you can't really design a level without knowing what's going to be in it. Um, Wily levels, there's only one that is that the tile set is designed now, and the other ones will use a much simpler tile set. So that's basically where I'm at. The the, the music, I'm probably done with the music except some boss fight, boss fight songs, and credits and other songs, but. The actual stage music, the other stage music will probably be made by Kevin. Probably not sure yet, b b because I I, I want to make sure that he's inspired and he does cool cool stuff. If he doesn't want to make the other music, I won't force him to. So that that's why I'm at. Why did you may didn't you make Rainbow Man Rainbow Man stage outside, like in the landscape, since it would be kind of cool? Because I thought that the crystal cave type thing was cool and I wanted to have the crystal that you know change color and stuff. I thought it could look cool so I sticked with it. Are there any ideas for Mega Man 10 that you left out or might have to leave out in the future? Well, what I left out you already know. Uh, I left out a whole bunch of robot masters that I made when I was a kid. But uh, other than that, I didn't really leave out that much stuff. What's your favorite robot master? I'd have to say Comet Woman and Jet. I mean, Jetman looks badass, I think, and um, Comet Woman is really cool. I I put it in because I thought it was a good idea. Since there are nine robot masters, right? Would the ninth one play a special role in the plot? Not really, because he's more like a special robot master, but it doesn't really play a special role in the plot. Would you remake Tan Ma Tank Man's theme and the boss battle theme, or just rearrange it? The Tank Man theme will be remade by Yan, and the boss battle theme will pretty much stay the same, since people really like it a lot. I'll probably won't rearrange it, it will probably remain the same. How long do you think your, your project will be finished? I don't know. The guy you've got making the rest of the game's music is good, right? Of course he is good! I mean, subscribe to his channel right now! Kevin is awesome! <laughs> he makes great music and he makes it really fast. It takes me... when I'm not... right now I'm on, I'm on vacation, okay? It takes me a day to make a song. He told me it takes him like two or three hours to make a song. This guy is a badass. <laughs> so subscribe to his channel right now, he makes great music. Will this be a nice from playable? No. Why did you play for Hammer Man? You already know. Which program do you use for the game? Multimedia Fusion. 
what is the possible order of weaknesses for the Robot Master? I already have an order of weaknesses planned out, but I'm not releasing it because I think it's, it will be part of the fun of playing the game, so I don't want to spoil it for you. Are you planning any sequel to Mega Man 10? No. 